vanity. Hi. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Hiya. So here we have 31-year-old Angela Walker. She met her husband, Kenny, on the Friends Reunited dating site. They met up in person in March 2007, and three weeks later, a wedding date was set for March 2008. I got my eyelashes permed and tinted. Um, it was a week and a half before my wedding. <gasps> What happened? It went quite horribly wrong. No, really that's bad. such bad timing. I know. When I got them done, they were very, very curly and sort of stuck to the eyelids. Something had gone badly wrong. Angela's lashes were so tightly curled, they bent right back, pressing into her eyelids. I thought maybe they'll sort of drop over the next week or so. They didn't. I went back after about a week and said, I don't think this is right. You'll have to do something. So the beautician agreed to straighten them. Right. Which was worse because they were pointing straight down. Only. Oh oh. <laughs> so I couldn't see. No, from my eyes, all I could see is eyelashes. How far away from me from the wedding then? Um, the day before. <gasps> Stop it. So I was crying. There was nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing I could do. I had to just have these horrible eyelashes for my wedding day. On what should have been the best day of her life, Angela woke up with sore, streaming eyes. I got up at half six and I couldn't see properly. Come on, do my bed again! It was as if I had a sort of soft focus white film over both eyes. So I went through my wedding not being able to see properly. That's really sad. That's really bad. It was. <laughs> When I was getting photographs taken, I was, um, it was sore, you know, the light yeah. was irritating my eyes oh, and it was awful. Take you, Angela. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I was so embarrassed. As the wedding day wore on, Angela's eyes got more and more painful. Because I just felt so silly oh. trying to talk to somebody with my eyes half closed. They were really watery, really sore, and I had to um, go to bed about midnight because they were really painful by that point. Um, this is a somewhat spoiling the wedding night, though. Very much so. <laughs> and in the end, there was no wedding night. Eventually, at three in the morning, a distraught Kenny took his new wife to hospital, where she was immediately admitted. I was seen by someone who had to put an anaesthetic drop in so that they could open my eyes because they were welded shut. Oh, yeah. So my husband had to stand behind me and hold my eyes open while I was screaming like a baby. I just couldn't open them. And they had a look and they said that there was surface damage to both of my eyes. So how serious could it have been at the worst case scenario? GP checked my cornea as a, as a matter of, sort of procedure suggests that it could have been damaged, which obviously could lead to blindness. blindness. Yeah, That's unbelievable. So how could this treatment have gone so wrong? If the therapist selected the incorrect roller size, then the lash would be too tight, tightly pressed against the skin. It would effectively just bend the lashes back. Also, if the barrier cream wasn't placed around the eye area, some of the solution could go into the eye.